What's up everybody, my name is Shannon and I am still waiting for my Seder and today we are talking about The Legends of Luke Skywalker by Ken Liu. This was one of the books that came out in the run up to The Last Jedi. I didn't read it at the time and in fact, like as I would hear things about it, I was just convinced that this book wasn't for me. Now, I have a really good friend who loves this book. She's talked about it so many times and every time she talks about it, I'm like, this is a book I should read. But then I'm reminded of what it is and it's an anthology and I'm like, I, I just don't know. I don't don't see how it can be this good. But I finally decided to read it and oh my god, this book is amazing and I'm an idiot for not reading it sooner. So The Legends of Luke Skywalker is a collection of six stories and it's all set within like this crew that is on their way to Canto Bight and they're all telling themselves like these stories of Luke Skywalker. The thing is, you don't really know if they're true, you don't know if maybe they happened but some details have changed, you don't even know if Luke Skywalker is necessarily in all of them. And because of that, you really get this like larger than life meta commentary on what storytelling means and what it means to like believe in these characters, what it means to have these characters bring us together. And I really, really loved that. More than anything, I loved that this book was just very meta. Like a couple of the stories you can tell are really talking to the fans. Like they're really kind of unpacking the way that fans unpack Star Wars and talking about how like, you know, it's okay if you engage with it this way. It's okay if you engage with it this way because we're all just telling stories. And what I really loved was all of these different looks at Luke Skywalker. Like you do get this like, feel for Luke, but what you really get is a feel for how the galaxy as a whole sees him, which I think was really important for the sequel era timeline because, you know, Luke has been gone for so long, like even Rey in TFA, like she thinks that Luke is a myth, she's not sure who he is, and in this you really get like a good idea of why that is, regardless if the stories are true or not. I personally think a couple of them are true, just maybe the details have been changed a little bit, just because of how the details seem to have impacted him later in his life. They just feel like they kind of have a little bit more truth to them. But I really love that you get to see so many different perspectives. You get to see people who are like super skeptical of like the New Republic and like the rebellion. You get to see like an actual Empire official, like what he thought of Luke Skywalker. You get to see people who didn't even know who he was, like didn't even know that this was about Luke Skywalker, but have later come to realize that maybe that's who they had encountered. And it was just so amazing to see. You also get different looks at the Force, like you get to learn about something called the Tide, you get to learn about something called the Mist, and just how there's this one story and this one truth, but the truth has many names and all that really matters is that it has moved you in some way or that it is the truth, and it's just so cool. I really, really enjoyed it. I really wish that like I had read this way, way sooner because I think it would have like changed, I don't think it would have like changed the way I saw things in the sequel trilogy, but I just think that it adds so much, especially to like Last Jedi Luke, because uh, it just, you really see like how the galaxy had perceived him, why people wanted him to come back, why people put their hope in him, and it's just really, really awesome. I absolutely adored this. If you haven't read this book yet, I really recommend it. There's probably only one story out of the six that I didn't like. And in fact, it was just not really my cup of tea. Like I still thought it was funny. I still thought it was interesting, but compared to like the others, it just wasn't necessarily my favorite. I also like that this book, it's a middle grade book, but it doesn't feel like it's aged down or dumbed down. I think sometimes Star Wars doesn't age their books correctly. Like sometimes they feel like way too young or sometimes they feel like way too old or something like that. This felt very properly middle grade and it was very easy to digest. I read like 200 pages in a day. Like I didn't even mean to, I just kept reading it because it was so fun and it was so easy to digest, so easy to read. So I obviously really, really liked this. Um, I really recommend it and I'm very excited to talk about this book a little bit more in the future. So I'm giving this book an A plus and please do yourself a favor and go and read it. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to hit that like button down below and and don't forget to subscribe so you can talk books with me every week. That is everything I got for you today, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.